Today we need to kill enough of their idiots to upgrade our civilization and kill even more idiots. And to start, we're simply gonna build something that throws rocks at them. Because they're stupid and they will continually walk into my rocks, every once in a while we'll send out our own caveman to kinda stall them right here. Every once in a while they're gonna get through and smack my base, but we'll send out another idiot to deflect. It costs $1,000 to build another turret spot and that's what we're gonna save up for. Because if they can't get to me, we're gonna be okay. I also have a volcano power should I get bored and that will rain things down on them from the sky. That's obviously a pretty overpowered ability that would be well for any civilization. Their strategy is basically just keep sending things at us. They do have a singular turret but they're sending all their money forward. They're really just sending them directly into a meat grinder. Now to level up to the next age we need 4,000 experience. We currently have 700. They'll stand no chance at all though with this strategy. We'll even send out a slingshot man once in a while to kind of uh, get some range going. The slingshot actually has quite a bit of range on it so it can hit them quite a ways away. But for now we can go just like this. They'll throw all their idiots toward us. We'll kill them quite easily. Each of these club men only cost $15 too so they're spending throwing all their money into nothing. All we've got to do is stall them right about here. Then my slingshot will do the rest of the work. My idiot is also pushing right into them. They are sending their first dinosaur riders. All right well we'll send a guy out to kind of stall them. Okay we'll send a few guys out to stall them. I need them to stall right here. We're also going to throw the volcano power down that's hopefully gonna destroy their dinosaurs that was a very expensive mistake on their part okay it's a <laughs> okay my caveman just got annihilated by a dinosaur man but that's okay we're gonna let them get just a little closer they're in range of my turret so i'm gonna send out two meat shields and a slingshot though that way they can uh start deflecting some of their damage we also get a lot of money to kill their dinosaurs so this is good this is perfect we'll stall them right there they're taking tons of damage from the back end and we'll just keep throwing people out to get destroyed we also have the thousand dollars we need for another turret spot so we're gonna go ahead and add that in and we need to send some more idiots out so that guy doesn't stab my base too many times. A $200 egg automatic would be a great turret. Whoops, they're getting close to my base. We could take a few stabs so that's not the end of the world. I was reading the menu. They're not allowed to hit me when they're doing that. Okay, here's a $200 automatic egg launcher. Oh, that's much quicker, but they're now sending knights out to me because they evolved into a church. But their armored knights are no match for eggs. That egg launcher actually is quite strong, so we're going to see if we can put another uh, egg automatic right there. Now it's a bunch of knights against a bunch of eggs, and the eggs are actually destroying them entirely. I don't need anything more than egg launchers. I can evolve my civilization to also churches though. Another turret spot is going to cost $3,000. And we have new turrets now. We have a $500 catapult, $750 fire catapult, and $1,000 oil. But I've got to say, this egg launcher is really doing work. The crossbow guys will get close enough to hit me though, so we need to make sure they stay way out here. But we're making a lot of money by murdering knights. Who knew that was such a lucrative business? Okay, we're going to sell uh, the lower one, and we're going to replace that with a $750 fire catapult. It says fire catapult, so it's got to be good. We're going to leave maybe an egg launcher there for now, because it's nice to whittle them down. The fire catapult uh, also rains fire down on the ground. At the direct hit, her but leaving fire in the ground does damage over time for them. And they're in armor, so they're basically boiled alive inside. Uh, also, when the fire catapult hits something, it throws these shards up that hit other people too, so that's kind of a nice double effect. So they really do a lot of damage and light the ground on fire. So we've just got a lot of range. Swordmen only cost $50, so they're going to make a profit every time they kill someone. Okay, they're getting desperate, so they're sending in knights. They have called it on a stick in their defense. We're going to send a few knights out just to slow down their knight on a horse, but I'm pretty sure my turrets are going to destroy him before he gets a chance to get anywhere close to us. He's already getting low on health. He does do a lot of damage, but that did cost him $500, and we got $650 to kill him. Go, egg launcher, go! Maybe I should have just stuck with egg launchers. They're actually really powerful. They're getting desperate now. Look at all the idiots they're sending in. Okay, we're going to have to send out one to, to, to try and mitigate the crossbow damage. So far so good. My idiotic strategy is working. I forgot about my special ability. Since they're sending out a few knights, we might have to unleash that. Oh, we're gonna make $1,300 from killing those knights. Okay, what does this ability even do? Oh, it rains arrows down from the sky. That's pretty handy. Oh, they evolved again. Uh, I guess we could probably also evolve too, though, so we have even better turrets suddenly. Cannons? Large cannon? Oh, we were gonna add a turret spot for 3,000 first, then we'll add a cannon. We can't afford a cannon yet, but we will soon. Okay, we're gonna send our, our own swordmen to stab them in the stomach. Killing these guys will be nice and cheap, so we'll stab them away, and we'll make, wow, tons of money. Okay, we can already uh, basically add another cannon, and that's gonna start destroying them entirely. We still have an egg launcher. We're launching eggs at these guys. Come on, kill them. You can do it. Okay, there's our next cannon. That's gonna add a lot of fire power to us. Okay, we're gonna need to add a few swordsmen of our own though because they're getting to our base and that's not good. But we are now launching all sorts of things from our turrets now and we can add another turret spot for 7,500 so it's gonna be a few minutes but we're making so much money now. So we're gonna replace our egg launcher. We get money back from that too so we can add another small cannon where the egg launcher used to be. That's a lot more damage again. Look, they can't even get close to us now. They're getting destroyed way out there. Uh, even their riflemen won't get close to us because they get absolutely destroyed 100 feet out. There is what's called a large cannon for 
$3,000. But our defenses are so good, like even these basic cannons and a catapult are enough to stop them dead. They're literally just throwing money away. They've added to their own defenses a little bit, but I'm not feeling very offensive right now. Okay, we're going to sell one of our turrets and we're going to add in our uh that one for 3000 So now we got even more defense. They're not going to get anywhere close to us at this point. They're starting to bring in their cannoneers. These cost $1,000 each for them though. Okay, we're going to send out a few of ours just to make sure because those probably hurt pretty bad if they do hit us. We'll let this guy absorb the force of a cannoneer. He just died. He gave us $1,300. So this guy's also going to get melted super quick. And that was $2,000 out of their war machine. So basically right now, all I've got to do is watch out for those guys and kill them when I see them. But I'm pretty sure I can smell this, sell the small cannon. I get a $6,000 explosive cannon up top. So now I have one of every cannon. There's another uh, one of these guys. So I'm going to send my dueler out. Not quite yet, but pretty soon because I don't want him to get any damage on our base. Your sacrifice will be, well, we didn't even need the, this guy. Sorry, your sacrifice is for nothing then. You'll always be remembered, but not really. I do want a fourth turret spot though. I guess I could uh, sell my little baby cannon and put in a larger one for now. Though we are almost at a new one. Well, we gotta send something out because we got a cannon here right in our face. Oh, we can actually evolve to the next stage already. They already did because they're like in a modern military outfits. But I'm pretty sure even modern military outfits are not enough for a... 40 pound cannonball launched at high speeds toward you. Those guys give me $2,000 each. So we could definitely add a turret spot. So now we have a single turret, a $9,000 rocket turret, $14,000 double turret. But we can just add a little turret for now just to help make sure they don't get anywhere close to us. But with the amount of money they're throwing toward us, we're going to take so much away. They're never going to get through our defenses. Look, we have a guy with a knife. This guy is like a fully automatic rifle. We're sending out a guy with a knife to stab him. Go, my friend, go. I forgot about special abilities so much, but I don't need them because my turrets are so strong. We do have a max amount of turrets, but I do kind of want to see this $14,000 double turret. So let's remove this baby cannon and put in a big boy cannon. Have they have they given up? They stopped doing anything toward us at all. Okay, maybe they're just running out of money or reevaluating their strategy. Ooh, watch me be super petty. I'm going to launch an entire airstrike on this one guy just to show them how superior I am. And it's also going to hit that guy. Look how much money we're making. We're so rich now because we can already build, uh, just about build another max level double turret. In fact, we now can. We still need to make 50% more entire experience to get to the next age, but I think as it is, we're okay. They are probably sitting here trying to save up some money for tanks or something. Okay, well, just to annoy them, hey, there we go. Now they're sending out some tanks. I'm just going to start sending out a knife man every once in a while. Uh, they're actually fairly expensive, but just to make sure they have this spawn stuff in, in revenge. We got a knife man against a tank. Wow, my turrets absolutely destroyed that tank. Or it was the knife man. Okay, this will be a proper one-on-one. -on -one. No, it won't be. We're getting turreted by their base. But he took out 5% of the tank's health. Well, here comes our tanks. Our turrets are more than up to the task, but I might as well airstrike them just to assert dominance properly. Okay, that gave us so much experience. I think we can actually evolve again. Yep, we sure can. We're now a white alien race. With $100,000 ion ray turret, $40,000 laser cannon, $24,000. All right, well, what we could do is take care of the uh, explosive cannon. That's going to go away and then we're going to put in a $40,000 laser cannon. I don't think their tanks are going to be able to stand up to a laser cannon. Uh, there it goes. It's firing away and yep, that's absolutely melting things. That's absolutely melting them too. I can't evolve anymore. I can't build any more turrets. So this is the max level. Okay, they're starting to send out their max level infantry. One last tank for an easy 10 grand for us and then we're going to sit here melting these guys as much as we can. And so far our turrets are more than up to the task of that. These aren't even these are like weak turrets. These are level 3 turrets and we're melting them but I want my hundred thousand uh, dollar ion ray also I'm not really sure what the special ability okay that's good to know. They're starting to get desperate. They're sending out a wave of those guys. But those guys themselves cost a lot. That's $5,000 each for those. Okay, we're going to sell our top turret because now we're going to put the $100,000 ion ray. So those blue bullets, wow, we can shoot them all the way across the map. Like, actually, we're hitting them way out here. So they're going to get no chance to get close to us. Uh, they've got one uh, previous tier turret in their defense. But to be fair, I've sent no one towards them. It seems almost mean to do that now. Like, if I send out one of these sword guys, like, he's going to walk all the way to the base because he's got turret support behind him. My turret's even hitting him here. It was hitting the guy way over here. That's so unfair. Okay, so that's going to uh, finish that guy off. Uh, they're getting a little bit of damage from that turret in return. But, like, I think I actually hit their base with my turret. Something did damage there, and it wasn't me. The turrets, yeah, once the guy dies, the turrets actually keep going. Yeah, we're hitting them with our own turrets. That would be the ultimate humiliation for them if we actually straight up just killed them with our own turrets instead of actual soldiers. Okay, so the high angle shoots the bullets downwards, so they tend to go into the ground, so the next one needs to be the bottom one. So we're going to sell that. There's a $100,000 one of those, and that angle's going to be a little better. I bet those shots are going to go through further and hit the base a lot more. Yeah, it works. Look at their health go down. Like, I don't even... I've got two max level turrets, and that's all I need to do to finish this. They even stop 
stop sending units. Oh, they sent a tank in. They're getting desperate. And look at how fast their health goes down, though. $100,000 ion turrets absolutely destroy everything. That was 26000 just for that. And we hit their base a little bit. Well, we could probably sell this turret because it's not hitting anything anymore. Nothing gets in its range. And then we're going to put down a $100,000 ion ray right here. Three max level turrets and one semi-max level turret. And that's going to be enough to finish them off, I think, because half of our shots miss and hit their base. And they're really high damage, so it absolutely destroys them. They told me this game was a balance between defense and offense. But if I just put a bunch of defense down, it's actually enough to destroy their base. Like, I, I just won accidentally. I wasn't even trying to win. So let's do it all again, starting with very ugly cavemen. But I can't help but wonder if the turret thing is going to work again. We can make all sorts of different things. Let's try an egg rifle right away because we know the value of turrets at this point and we can even upgrade it for a thousand dollars if we want to i don't know how necessary that's going to be yet but we can upgrade all sorts of things i think including the turrets yeah turret damage is only 300 dollars to upgrade and turret range too so we'll give that a little extra space and then yeah so far it's absolutely going to destroy everyone we'll throw to sacrifice out every once in a while just to make sure they don't actually make it to our base but you know what i don't think they're going to i don't think they've got it in them uh that wasn't me does that just automatically go off? I don't think that was me. We could also summon dinosaur riders for $200. I don't think that's necessary. We're just going to keep throwing out. Our egg launcher is going to work well. Uh, $1,000 and we can get another tower up there. So we can get one of these. Our rock sling shot is $2,300. We'll get another egg rifle for now because we know these are good. Just kidding. We can't afford that yet. We'll just get a mammoth catapult for now. As long as we have more things attacking, we'll be fine. Uh, upgrades are pretty expensive moving forward. Uh, Dino hut. Income. Get more gold from all sources. I should have got this. This one right away that's just a good investment in our future we should always invest in our future that's why i drink a lot of coffee i gotta remember to upgrade this as soon as possible because the sooner we get that going the better uh we're also going to take our infantry damage and armor that means our little uh sacrificial moron can do just a little bit more for us so now when we send this guy out he'll be all the better he's got a big club he's going to give this guy a bonk and we'll see the damage 50 i think uh maybe that was a critical hit something did 50 it might have been one of my catapults uh he's actually getting pretty strong there he's able to knock a few out on his own but nothing's getting through our turrets yet, so we're in pretty good shape. We can just sit back and relax for a little while. We're gonna rain down on these idiots one more time. That one might actually be able to get a single hit on us, but didn't look like they did. Okay, income's going up another 1100. Next one's 2000, but that will pay for itself before long. Okay, they're sending out the dinosaur riders now, so we're gonna send out one single idiot that we can afford right now. Because they actually have range from the dinosaur too. That's a little scary, but I think we'll take this one out pretty easily. They might get one hit on our base. I could live with that, but we need to watch out for them. We're also gonna send some of our sacrifices out. Uh, they're also sending in the Spartans suddenly they've upgraded to the Roman era that's how humanity evolves it goes from uh caveman to Romans oh I think I can actually upgrade too my button was flashing for I don't know how long uh same thing they're throwing the pilums pilums whatever they are they're throwing sticks at me they're sticking into my head but I'm a caveman so I don't care we'll send out a few of our own little Spartans to hopefully slow them down and so far that's working wonders we could build another turret hype for 3,000 I don't think we're there yet uh someone summoned lightning they're pretty mad about stuff so we're destroying everyone with that my towers are still working very well but for now i want the income boost two thousand dollars there we go we now have a 30 percent boost and we did it pretty early on so we're definitely going to get a lot more money moving forward they're getting desperate so they're throwing a lot of uh spartans at us we'll just respond in kind by throwing a few of our own out there to hopefully deflect them a little bit i wish you're in range of our towers that's when we're at our best but since they're really stacking up the idiots we're going to send some lightning down on them then we're also going to increase our turret damage another 30 percent which is actually huge it would be nice to get more turrets, but we might have actually be able to replace one. If we sell that one for $750, we can get a guard for $2,000. Uh, also, I realized there weren't any units coming at me because I threw them over there. I'm down to one turret right now, so this might not be a wise choice yet. But I'm pretty sure the egg launcher combined with like $300 of these guys will make us a pretty hearty profit. Yeah, so that's actually pretty good. And each time we kill one of them, I'm not sure how much money we're getting, but it seems ample. And they're just waiting to line up to step into range of my towers. Because these only cost $2,000, so there we go. We have a spear-throwing idiot up top. And as soon as I can, I'll increase the range on them so they can attack a little bit further out. Uh, for now, it's not that bad. Uh, the new guy does 38, 26, something like that. And uh, we're definitely going to send out a few meat shields. They're just simply going to stop them right there. I can't risk. That guy's running. I think he might be a more elite unit, but he got destroyed by towers. Most upgrades are getting pretty expensive already. But turret uh, range is coming up pretty quick. That's going to give us an extra 10% range. And depending on the tower, that's probably going to be a lot. Oh, they got right to our doorstep. I didn't realize. Okay, well, you know, you guys can have some lightning for a second then i can focus on the menu okay turrets have lots of extra range they've upgraded to egyptians can i be an egyptian yet nope we're not 
quite there yet. I did panic spawn a bunch of guys so far that they'll actually make it pretty close to their base. That's it. Stab them, idiot. Uh, actually, our units are pretty strong. I'm pretty sure those are their basic units, but because ours have basic upgrades, we're still stronger than them. At least I think so. I'm not really sure. We do have the $3,000 we need for a new turret, and for $2,000 we could build one. They have a bird shooting fireballs at us, though, so we're probably gonna have trouble making it to their base, but that's not the point right now. I need all of these guys to get close enough to our base to get destroyed by towers. So once they're just a little bit more in range, we'll send a few of ours out. And that way, they're just going to be supported fully by the towers and they hardly have to do any work themselves. They're also sending the question mark men and dogs at us. But this little guy cost $100 and he's done so much money for us. He would get salesman of the month if I could give it to him. For now, we're just going to go like this and send some of these meat shields into the way. We'll even throw a spear thrower behind to help because uh, I'm worried about whatever that dog thing is. Just to get a little damage on it. Okay, he died fairly quickly. Our turrets are doing their job. Our turrets are really doing their job. So we could just sit here and relax. Okay, as soon as that guy dies, I'm pretty sure we'll have the 2,000 we need for one of these. So now we have three turrets. I'm pretty sure we can just sit way back here and not do anything. Our turrets are absolutely going to destroy them. So we could just sit here and make money without any real risk to us. Uh, that wasn't me, by the way. That was the enemy. I think they just spawned that down on basically nothing. I have no units on the board. So now's a good time to just sit back and relax and uh, see what our next investment should be. I guess we could get more infantry damage and armor. Oh, what is this guy? Okay, we're going to send one of ours out because I don't know what that is. Oh, he just blocked that shot. Perfect. Okay, we're going for infantry damage just because infantry is really all we've been using so far. And he's just going to go out there like a glass cannon and hopefully destroy everyone. They're also going to be a bit of a meat shield too because I need them to absorb range damage. Oh, we can upgrade again. That also moved us to the desert, so we're Egyptian like our counterparts. So we can now summon Egyptian uh, knife wielders, who are going to do a lot of damage because they are quite upgraded. That should also mean more towers too, so maybe we could sell this uh, antiquated tower and then we're going to summon Big Bird. I don't know what Big Bird is, but I want one. There's also donkeys. Get out there, donkey. Let's see what you can do. $400 got to be worth it. Oh, it's a chariot. I get it. Well, that's fine. These guys aren't upgraded at all, but I think they're pretty strong by default. So we're going to have a chariot versus chariot fight. They've probably upgraded theirs at least once because they're not stupid. Now, actually, maybe they haven't. Uh, well, they're doing a little bit more damage sometimes, but then sometimes we are. Watch the question mark man get close. He's going to get absolutely destroyed. Same with the chariot rider, I think, but we're going to send one of ours out just to be sure because he's going to fire one off and we don't want it to hit our base. I'm pretty sure that guy's probably going to die to the giant wolf. That's fine. He actually did a lot of damage there. It wasn't a straight 1v1. He might have won that. And after killing a few of them, we're going to sell one of our old towers and get another big bird. We're pretty much going to win using the power of big bird. Like, look at this. They're just sending all of these guys at us now that's super expensive for them and such money for us okay uh that guy actually managed to take a lot of them out and now the fireballs are going to destroy them we need one little meat shield there to absorb that spear and we're good to get three thousand dollars uh they're sending bows and arrows out because they hit the like medieval era i don't know what to call it they have castles and stuff they got furry legged warriors we're going to turn our turn damage up an extra 50 percent just because we can and that's really mean because we already have like an unstoppable fortress i don't think anything's going to get through to us for a little while i didn't realize these big dog guys only $200. But still, $100 is a much better investment for us. $100, this guy's gonna make us like four grand. He took a shot from here. Look at all the damage going out. Oh, they have wizards that are also in question mark form. Uh, this guy's 1v1ing a wizard and he's like a basic idiot with a knife and he actually won that. Yeah, each one of these guys is such a good investment right now. Can we evolve soon? Uh, I also forgot we have our god power. Uh... We're just raining fireballs from the pyramids. They just reskinned the volcano because those look vaguely like volcanoes. Look at this guy. I bet he also loves big birds. So this does 25 to 35 damage. Okay, that's fine by me. We got three big birds. That's going to cost 7,000 to get a bigger tower. But these guys don't have a ton of range, but they do a ton of damage or nothing will get close. Okay, we're going to turn our turret range up another 10% as soon as we can. That shouldn't take too long to get. Because some of these towers obviously don't have a ton of range. They have massive amounts of damage, but their range is really important. Anything that gets close gets triple fireballs. Called. They don't penetrate, but they don't have to because they fire so quickly. And there's max level turret range, so the turrets are going to get an extra 10%, which will make a bit of a difference. We can hit them way out there now. We've still got to kill a fair few of them to upgrade to our next level, so we're not really advancing very quickly, but our turrets are sure strong. Maybe turrets give less experience just for this reason, because you're not really risking anything by doing this. You're just sort of sitting here. So we can send out a few of our infantry men, but it's going to take a second for them to actually make it to where they can hit someone. Okay, we're going to 1v1 this guy, and they're actually, I think, going to win, even though this guy's a... Uh, more advanced development. Even getting fired on also by an archer, he won that fight. Okay, let's give the infantry another 10% armor. That's got to help them out. We've somehow turned this into like a business. We're just looking for the maximum return on investment. Oh, we can evolve again. Perfect. 
We're now in the snowy wilds and there's castles. Oh, we can't summon our infantrymen yet. I think we need to, uh, $900. Yeah, we need that for the footmen. But now we can summon $100 footmen that are actually going to be quite strong because they have lots of upgrades. So let's see their damage go. Yeah, they're really strong. They're almost one-shotting the archers already. And they can absorb a lot of arrows. Uh, they do have some pretty fancy looking defenses, but ours are better because those are fully upgraded. We're hitting for like at least 50% more damage than them. I'm not going to worry to send out any more footmen right now. Our towers will take care of this. We don't need to spend $100 to make money. We can just make money just like that. Okay, we're going to sell one of our towers though for $1,000. And then we get a $3,000 metal catapult. 50 to 70 damage, it's fire rate isn't that quick so I might also add a crossbow but there's also a giant bird coming toward us. Uh, I'm going to send out an infantryman just to make sure, okay we can even destroy those. Uh, so I might actually delete this 25 to 35 because the crossbow is 25 to 45 with a really big fire rate. And then we have a nice variety, we arrows, fireballs, the works. And we're just stacking money up, oh they're on to the next, uh, they've got guns I think with sticks on them because they're back to the churches but they still can't get anywhere near us. Plus killing these guys gets us a lot of money so we can sit here and save up for a new turret. They are sending in some bomb things so I'm gonna put a guy out just in case we have to absorb a hit or two. That's your job. Absorb cannonballs for me. That hardly even hurt this guy. Their armor is too strong. This one guy's actually like an unstoppable cyborg. He's probably gonna march pretty much all the way through though. That's an armored knight so he might have something to say about that. But he did kill the cannon and he's out damaging this guy by a lot. Pretty sure our towers are more than up to the defense. They've used their ultimate ability for reasons unbeknownst to myself. But we get another uh, upgraded tower. Okay, they did manage to hit us with a singular cannonball just because uh, my towers don't have the range. Yeah, I'm gonna, every time there's a cannon, I need to send out one idiot for $100 to absorb that damage. But then this guy's gonna go on a killing spree himself. They have some fancy black and gold cannons on their side, but our defenses are likely a lot better because we've got four different towers and they're all very upgraded. They're starting to send out uh, knights on horses. Oh, I'm out of money now. Okay, bad timing. Oh, we destroyed them anyway. Okay, so this is like their super unit right now. And as soon as the cannons hit them, they're absolutely dead. Oh, well, we can evolve again. Good timing. So our $100 infantrymen are even stronger again. They themselves are probably actually going to do a lot of damage to them. We're definitely doing more damage. But we also need to find out what our new towers are. So 3,500 for a large cannon. 65 to 85 damage and a really quick fire rate. So that's going to help us out. Not that we needed the help because we're going to destroy their entire horse army. They saved up for like four years to do that. And we just destroyed them. Oh. There's a man with a minigun coming our way. Well, they're also getting destroyed instantly, but they're like a full uh, thing ahead of us. That's okay. We'll make more money off these guys anyway. They're more valuable to kill, so we'll get way ahead with this. We're going to get another large cannon here, and then we're going to sell this one and get another large cannon here, and we're going to sell this one and get another large cannon here in just a minute. Then we can just rely on our very large cannons that have lots of range to destroy their modern warriors. These things are hitting for 140 damage. There's also a dog with a knife and a man with a also modern gun, but we're killing absolutely everyone when they get anywhere close to our base. Okay, these guys can actually hit me with something. He throws a grenade or something but we're up to the task of repelling it naturally. We're fighting modern soldiers with uh, pokey swords, but that's actually working pretty well because these guys are actually quite strong. They also brought in a gunship, which is going to kill $100 worth of my unit, so I think we can make that sacrifice. Okay, they're bringing in the first tank, so we're just going to drop bombs on it and kill it right away as a giant insult to them. I didn't realize there was a fast forward button, so we could actually be grinding up some money nice and quick. I just want to send a unit out to make sure the tank doesn't shoot our base. Not sure if it would or not, but let's not risk it. There's another $3,000 just like that. The turrets actually do go through. Like if they shoot someone, the bullet does travel through them and hit the tank behind them or whatever happens to be behind them. We're making so much money by just killing their tanks like this. Yeah, that's it. Walk into the cannonballs. Good dummies. Okay, we're going to turn our infantry damage up again. That's going to add an extra 50% to them, which is kind of absurd. Eventually, like I'm just going to have one guy like this who's just going to walk out and stab their base with one hit and they're going to die. He's already taken off almost half their health and he's got a sword. The machine guns behind are kind of a problem for them, obviously, because they just take a bunch of damage from all that. So we can add another 10 percent of their armor now they're max upgraded infantry units so we could probably just spam these for the next 10 minutes and probably overrun them really oh they're onto the next area already though they have spider robots all right well that's intimidating for me luckily for us i don't think they're going to be able to do anything about that because if they get in range of our towers they're dead the funny thing is they are having trouble getting in range because my lone musketeer is able to stop them so far he's actually out damaging them by a lot all right well they are they're fast enough they are able to get to my base so i'm gonna have to counter them with some hundred dollar idiots oh look at all these things. 
All right, well, we're going to turn to speed up so we can save up some money and get to our next era. Okay, there we go. We've unlocked the next era. They just sent some laser waves at us, but we've now got basic riflemen that are going to probably destroy them. Nope, they're going to get destroyed by whatever that thing is. Well, actually, two of them was almost enough to defeat it, and our turrets will surely take him out. Okay, so even against this very advanced stuff, we're able to destroy it. We're going to find out what the next wave of cannon is. 4,500 double rocket launcher. Deal. You know, we'll put an order in for two of those. You know what? Let's make it three. Then they're surely not getting anywhere close to us. 170 damage per shot. And then there's all four of them already because we're just really rich. Well, I'm assuming armored is the most expensive for a reason. It's probably the best. So we're going to upgrade our armored capabilities by quite a lot. And then we'll just let these guys walk into the meat grinder endlessly. But I guess at this point, they're probably just kind of saving up for upgrades because I don't think they can evolve anymore. So if they're making money, which they're probably actually not really because they're not killing any of my units. Okay, armored damage is going up. So my armored, as soon as I can afford a single one. Oh, we can actually evolve again already. I don't know why we were able to evolve so quickly that time, but I'll take it. $10,000 for our next armored thing? Builds a power coil. All right, well, we'll unlock that as soon as we can. For now, I think our defenses are up to the task of repelling these idiots. They are getting quicker, but we're making so much money that it's almost a joke. Okay, let's sell one of these. $5,000 for a heavy plasma cannon. Wow, what a range of, uh, but they're very quick and probably attack very far away. Yep, that's gonna work well. All right, there's another plasma cannon. We're gonna sell that. There's three plasma cannons and four plasma cannons because we we're able to sell the old ones for a lot of money. Okay, we're gonna send in a few armored combat suits because these guys are fully upgraded on our side and I mean they're armored so they're gonna be super strong. Yeah, so far they're absorbing a lot of damage and uh, really putting the hurt on these guys in a big way. This might actually be enough to just overpower them depending on how good their turrets are. Uh, yeah, I think they might be in trouble here because we can just send these in right now because we just made all the investments early on. They're sending out armored in response but I bet they're not as strong as ours and they're probably running low on money because they've had less money to work with this entire time. Go my idiots go don't stop for anyone i should probably be diversifying here a little bit we'll get a few more of these and a few more armor going out we're just going to have a non-stop assault on them though it would be nice to unlock the power coil five thousand dollars can you guys kill it there we go we have unlocked god's wrath now we'll see if we can actually uh, get to the point where we can get those. Wow, their defenses are actually really strong. So we're going to save up a little bit of money now to buy some of God's Wraths. Uh, I forgot to, I also have the powers, so we can just laser them. Not that we really need that, but just for funsies. So this one does an incredible amount of damage. He's going to one-shot everything. I'm not really sure if he's upgradable or not. Okay, we're going to send him out. We're going to send him lots of support with these little guys. Maybe should have put him behind, but I'm pretty sure he's, yeah, he's just going to walk right through everyone. Yeah, <laughs> that's a strong unit. And then there's a row of spider walkers behind him. I think we're, yeah, maximum units on screen. He takes up the spot of two, so there's eight spider walkers behind him. Uh, but as soon as he touches their base, I think he's going to destroy. Uh, yeah, this is going to be good for me. And that's probably already hitting their base. Yep, it sure is. So we just need a few of these big guys. Uh, maybe even just this one, actually. He's absorbing all their turrets, and he's destroyed an entire civilization by himself. It's just that easy. 